So Lawrence Romanowski, distinctive collection, and uh, it's a long weekend here. We got our group of guys out for coffee and cars, so I thought I'd just uh, keep doing the uh, these videos and describing the cars. So uh, what we've got here is a uh, 2009 Aston Martin V8 Vantage, lovely car, does everything well. Dry sump, 4.7 liter V8, 420 horsepower, comfortable and easy to use, and great to drive every day. They're, they're really they're really wonderful cars. Aluminum body, aluminum chassis. Um, Ferrari 575. Um, so this car would have been the last of the uh, the last of uh, this model. Started out as the 550 in 1999, I think. And so it has the a five and a half liter, 485 horsepower engine. This one has the Fiorano handling package, which I think was like. $25,000 extra or something like that. And this is a, an F1 car, has the modular wheels, and this is again uh, 2005, which is the last model year of this car. It was replaced by that, which is a 599, which came out in 2007. Uh, so we've got Lamborghini uh, Superleggera, Giardo Superleggera. Um, this is so lightened, stiffened, lots of carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber interior, etc rear wing, beautiful rear wing, one of 175. So we're actually a really rare car and uh, you know a, a, a wonderful instrument uh, for the track uh, and it looks great and looks great in white. Um, Ferrari 430 Scuderia so this would be the uh, the, uh, the foil to what the, uh, the Superleggera is. So this is a really big deal when it came out in, uh, in 2008 based on the 430 Gearbox or the engine's up to 510 horsepower, and it had a new version of the F1 uh, gearbox, which shifted in 60 milliseconds, I think, 30 millis, 50 milliseconds. I can't remember. Anyway, really, so fast that you, it just feels like you get kicked in the ass, hard, and 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 far uh, far rougher gear change than you, if you're mechanically sympathetic than you'd ever uh, than you'd ever do yourself, but. Uh, I mean, truly fat. Both of these are truly fast cars, and a Scuderia is, you know, zero to 100, and you know, in the threes somewhere, and it feels it. it it's one of these cars that, for me at least, makes me dizzy under full throttle. Um, this is a really wonderful uh, Ferrari 308 GT4. Uh, this, this was one of the one of the only, or the only one, or one of a few. Ferraris designed by Bertoni. Just about everything else is Pininfarina, and so this would have uh, replaced the uh, 246 GT, uh, which is the very pretty um, uh, Pininfarina Dino car. And the first ones of these, this is the first instance of the the transverse uh, V8 engine, three-liter uh, transverse V8 engine, uh, which you can see there. So that that engine would have carried through to the the 308 GTBs, the Mondials and the uh, and the um, the 328 series and this is a this is a really great example of the car um, originally they came out as dinos and there were no ferrari badges at all and then i think in at the time they were kind of slow selling and so then the uh ferrari shipped all the dealers ferrari badges and then they became um and then they became ferraris but it's a fast car um uh faster than the early 308s anyway and uh, I think it, it's a much, much, uh, much more elegant solution to the packaging problems of a rear-engine four-seat car than the uh, than the later um, than the later uh, Pininfarina design Mondial cars, which I never, never can warm up to. So these are these are actually, I think, uh, really firming up in price. They used to be like the cheapest Ferrari, but now but now there's not much difference between these and and uh, and 308s anyway. 308 GT4 Bertoni car, and uh, I, I, I really like them, and I, I love the uh, these 70s uh, seats in the back. In the in the back, they almost look like the Citroen uh, Maserati seats. Anyway, it's a great car. Um, Ferrari 360. First of all, the aluminum cars. This one you can see the Daytona seats. It's got uh, the Challenge wheels, and uh, you know a. a you know, Chassis-wise, an order of magnitude better than the, the 355, and uh, this would be a 3.6-liter engine, uh, 400 horsepower, and uh, a great uh, a great car to drive. And they're, uh, they made they made quite a bit of them, same as the 430s, uh, 20,000 or something close to that. And so, with that many on the market now, you can get these cars for 
you know good cars in the hundred thousand dollar range which is which is a lot of car for the money especially since <clears throat> you know many of them led pretty pretty good lives uh, this is uh, our car actually it's a Lotus Esprit uh, turbo SE this is the later uh, Peter Stevens uh, design car which replaced the um, uh, Giorgio Gigaro uh, original and this uh, this is a really lovely example the 25,000 kilometer car one owner and uh, it's it's uh, it's 80s 80s old school turbo lag, uh, but in the day it was pretty cool. And it's uh, we have this car for sale for 35 grand, and it's a perfect car, uh, which is uh, I mean it's not a lot of money for uh, for a car that goes 160 miles an hour. Um, so this is a Ferrari Testarossa convertible. Of course, the factory never made made a convertible in the Testarossa. This is a company called. Uh, was an Aston. Um, a company called Strawman, which did uh, convertible versions, uh, some even from the factories for some Ferraris. I think the Nissan 300 ZX has come to mind and a bunch of other cars. So uh, anyway, this is the, the owner of this is about 80 cars and uh, this is actually the one he drives uh, probably the most. It's comfortable and fast and you can put the top down. And then uh, another uh, Another Testarossa. So this one has the center lock wheels, which dates it, which means that it's one of the earlier versions. Some of the Testarossas had the high mounted uh, mirrors, like up at the top of the windscreen. So this is probably, uh, I'm gonna say it's an 86 or an 87 uh, car. And uh, this is my um, Alpina BMW, which I just finished restoring. And finally got the Alpina Deco stripes on. So I'm really happy about the stripes on this car. I think it really just makes it. So uh, this is a, a six month uh, cosmetic restoration where I documented it in other videos on my YouTube channel. Um, but I basically took it all apart and gutted the interior and rebuilt the whole rear parcel shelf and, uh, and then gave it a repaint and replaced all the chrome glass and trim. And uh, it's come out really nicely. This is one of uh, 30 made B7S's and it's the only one with the uh, full leather Recaro interior. And then I have the uh, the new old stock uh, Blaupunkt Berlin stock radio. So neat car, turbocharged three and a half liter engine, uh, M1 block, uh, different different differential, different transmission, different suspension. And uh, anyway, it's in the BMW world. This is quite uh, quite a find. Alpina B7S turbo. And uh, then we have uh, a 599 Ferrari. And uh, I actually sold that car when I when I worked at Ferrari and uh, wonderful Grand Touring machine, sports Grand Touring machine, 600 horsepower, 6 liter V12, and this one has the uh, the ball polished wheels and uh, and uh, it's the Rosso Corsa with the uh, coil interior and the red inserts. But wonderful car, fast car, comfortable too. So. Anyway, that's uh, it's a long weekend here, so uh, happy to have these cars. It's uh, Lawrence Romanowski from the Distinctive Collection in Calgary, Canada, on the May long weekend. See ya, thanks.